Hi, I'm Donna Wolf from Nastasia.com. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet sleeves on a tank top. These lace sleeves will fit most teen or adult tank tops or sleeveless dresses. I'm using 115 yards of a size 3 crochet thread, but you can also use a thinner sport weight yarn and a G crochet hook. To begin, make a slip knot and chain 6. And then slip stitch to the first chain to form a ring. Although we're forming an initial ring, all subsequent stitches will be made in back and forth rows. For row 1, we'll start with the chain 3, which counts as a double crochet. And then in the ring, make 7 double crochet stitches. While this sleeve pattern will fit most, if you have a significantly larger or smaller sleeve, feel free to add or subtract the number of double crochet stitches in this ring. Now we'll work on row 2. We'll start off with the chain 3. And then turn our work. Take a look at the space in between the double crochet stitches from the previous row. We're going to make V stitches in between, consisting of a double crochet, a chain 1, and a double crochet. You can see it looks like a V or a small shell stitch. And we'll chain 1 in between these V stitches. Between the next two double crochet stitches, we'll do our pattern again. Double crochet, chain 1, and double crochet. And a chain 1 afterwards. I'll do this one more time. In between the next set of stitches, make a double crochet, a chain 1, and a double crochet. Then a chain 1. Continue with this pattern across the row. I'll show the last set of stitches. And if you recall, I stated we're only putting chain 1's in between sets of V-stitches. So after the last V-stitch, we do not chain anything. Instead, we're just going to put a double crochet on the top of the previous row's chain 3. So if you count, you will see you have 7 V-stitches. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7 plus the double crochet on this end and the chain 3 on the other end. For row 3, we'll start with the chain 3 and turn our work. Take a look at those previous V-stitches. In them, we're going to do the same V-stitch pattern. Double crochet, chain 1, and double crochet, followed by a chain 1. And again, look for the next V-stitch set. In it, do a double crochet, chain 1, and double crochet. Follow with a chain 1. And one more time. Double crochet, chain 1, and double crochet. Followed by a chain 1. You'll continue with this pattern across the row. I'll show the last one again. Double crochet, chain 1, and double crochet. We don't do the last chain, and instead we do a double crochet on top of the turning chain 3 from the previous row. And as before, when you count, you'll find 7 V stitches again, one right above the previous row's V stitch, plus the double crochet and chain 3 on the ends. For row 4, we're going to begin flaring out the sleeves a bit. We'll start with the chain 3, then turn the work. This time, we're going to increase what we call a V-stitch. In the previous V-stitch, this time we'll do two double crochet stitches, chain 1 and two double crochet stitches, then a chain 1. And again, two double crochet stitches, one chain and two double crochet stitches. followed by a chain 1. You'll continue with this pattern across the row. You can see the 7 V-stitches. At the end, you'll omit the last chain 1 and instead double crochet. For row 5, you'll repeat the new pattern of 2 double crochet
chain one and two double crochet, followed by a chain one. As you can see, we're increasing our V stitches every two rows. For our next row, since we already did two rows of two double crochet, this time we're bumping it up. In the previous V stitch, we'll do three double crochet, a chain one, and three double crochet, followed by a chain one. Here's my finished sleeve. I did two rows of one double crochet V stitches, two rows of the two double crochet V stitches, two rows of the three double crochet, two rows of the four double crochet, and two rows of the five double crochet. This length works for me, and feel free to adjust it more or less to fit your tank top. To attach, I take the top of the sleeve and match it with the top seam of the tank top. Drape it down on both sides to see if it fits. This is considered a cap sleeve, so it won't go underneath the arms, only along both the front and back sides. I take a traditional hand sewing needle and matching color thread. You can use whatever stitch you like, and feel free to watch my hand sewing videos for assistance. I try to take small stitches into the tank, then small stitches along the edge of the crochet sleeve. It usually holds quite nicely, as you can see. For washing the items, hand washing is always the best. But if you machine wash, put the finished top in a zippered bag or pillowcase and wash it on the delicate cycle. And that's how I crochet sleeves for my tank tops. Thanks so much for watching my video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified of new videos from me each week. And if you liked the video you just watched, be sure to check out my next video, which I think you'll like very much.